Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the noise reduction tool in DaVinci Resolve in order to make your footage go from this to this. Let's take a look. Some of you may remember that a few weeks ago, I put out a video listing my five favorite features in DaVinci Resolve Studio. And one of those features was the noise reduction tool. As far as I'm concerned, when it comes to video editing, the noise reduction tool in DaVinci Resolve Studio is one of, if not the best. So today we're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you how to use that noise reduction tool in order to take your footage from really, really bad to really, really good. Now, a couple quick things before we get started. First, if you're using the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you're unfortunately not gonna be able to use this noise reduction tool, but there is a noise reduction tool on the Fusion page that you can use. I put out a video about that. You should, you should go watch that. It'll be linked in the description. The second thing before we get started is I wanna talk about why noise happens and when noise happens in your footage. And basically there's three times when you're typically gonna find noise in your footage. The first is when you shoot underexposed and then you bring everything into post and you have to crank the shadow you gotta lift the shadows, lift everything up in order to get the proper exposure. Whenever you do that, you start getting noise, especially in the darker areas of your image and in the midtones. The second time that you're gonna find it is if you're shooting at night or in low light and you crank up your ISO in order to get proper exposure. Whenever you do that, you're raising the sensitivity of your camera sensor to light and when you do that, you get noise. And then the third time is if you just shoot incorrectly. So let's say you shot at a really, really off white balance and you just, you're just gonna have to tweak it a lot in order to get the look you want. The farther you push the image, especially if you're not working with log or raw footage, the farther you push that, the more noise you're gonna get. So whenever possible, shoot in good lighting, shoot at the correct exposure and shoot at the correct white balance. Otherwise you're gonna be dealing with noise. Now, if you do end up getting some noisy footage, that's, that's, well, that's what we're talking about today. So I've got this clip here. Basically what I did was I turned off all the lights in my studio. I cranked up the ISO so I would be almost properly exposed, but I'm still a little underexposed. The ISO is set at 3200 here. I'm shooting in Rec 709. So this isn't even raw where I can, you know, change the ISO and post and make everything look good. This is all on Rec 709 footage. So, and on top of that, the white balance is way, way off and if i play this you'll see we've got a lot of noise here everything just looks really bad so i had to do a lot of work to get it the way that i want let me go ahead and activate the grade that i did there we go we got a nice little teal and orange going on and we play that but we still have a ton of noise if i zoom in a little bit and you take a look at this wall we've got a lot of noise here and we've got both chroma and luma noise chroma noise is color so you'll see the little red and the blue and the noise and then luma is has to do with the luminosity of the image the blacks and the whites and that tends to happen when you are underexposed and all of that stuff and we've got everything we're running the gamut here this is just a really really bad clip but this noise reduction tool is really going to take care of that so let's go ahead and take a look at that. First of all, we're going to highlight the very first node in my node tree. I typically like doing my noise reduction first. Well, not first, but in the first node. So what I'll do is I'll leave a clean node and then I'll do all my grading and then I'll go back to that first node at the end because the noise reduction tool does, it does kind of pack a punch and it really is resource intensive. So it's going to take a while to render. So I do all my grading first, then go back and do noise reduction last. So that way my computer isn't all choked up. So down here in the bottom left of the color page where we have our color wheels, we also have camera raw, color match, RGB mixer, and then motion effects. And if we click on motion effects, we're gonna have these three columns, temporal noise reduction, spatial noise reduction, and motion blur. Now we're not dealing with motion blur at all today. We're not gonna deal with spatial noise reduction really at all. What we are gonna be dealing with is this temporal noise reduction. So temporal noise reduction basically takes a set number of frames. You're gonna set the number of frames. And basically the rule is the more movement you have in 
your video, the more frames you're gonna have DaVinci Resolve average out, if that makes sense. But basically it takes an average of frames, tries to isolate the non-moving parts in the image and remove noise that way. Spatial deals more with high frequency noise and a bunch of other stuff that I don't really completely understand yet. Just be, I, I don't know why I've, I've like read it, I've watched videos and it still just doesn't quite make sense to my brain. If it makes sense to you, please explain it in the comments. I have no qualms about admitting when I don't know something, but I do know that temporal noise reduction nine times out of 10 does everything I need it to do. So that's what we're gonna do here. So starting from the top down, the first thing we're gonna do is set the number of frames that DaVinci Resolve is going to be averaging out and you have a choice of zero to five. Now five is what you wanna choose when you have a lot of motion in your video. For this video, the camera's not moving. We don't have a lot of motion except for me. I tend to flop around like an idiot on camera camera. So we're going to choose a nice little midpoint. We're going to choose three frames. Motion estimation type, we have choices of faster, better, and none. Now faster is going to be easier on your computer, but it may not have the best detail at the end of the job. It may make your image look a little bit muddy. So I like choosing better. And then I tend to keep motion ratio at medium as well, because like I said, camera's not moving. It's just me that's moving. We don't really need it to be that big. Moving on down, we've got our temporal threshold, and this is where we're actually going to set our noise reduction. And you see we have Luma and Chroma, and by default, Luma and Chroma are actually linked to work together. You can unlink that if you really want to dial it in and get rid of the Chroma first and then work on the Luma, you can do that. I typically don't. I keep them linked for most, especially my projects on YouTube. But what we want to do, make sure these are linked. We're just going to go ahead. I'm going to put this at like 18. And you can see already that the noise is like it's it's basically gone, which is absolutely incredible. All right, let's go ahead and bring this back so that it fits within the frame. And you can see this looks a lot better than it used to. It's still not properly lit, so it doesn't look that great, but it looks a lot better than it used to. The noise is gone, but the only problem is with that noise reduction, it did take away some of the detail. We wanna add some of that back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the very last node in our node tree. We're gonna add a little bit of sharpening. I'm already in my sharpening window, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a couple little notches of sharpening there. And that is going to basically do it. So it's super easy getting rid of noise in DaVinci Resolve. Super easy, super powerful, super quick, but a couple things to keep in mind. First, like I said, this is really resource intensive. So if you have a really long video and you put noise reduction on top of it, let me put it this way. I just exported a 35 minute video last week. You probably saw it. It was the whole me playing around with Movavi video editor. When I exported that without the noise reduction, it took 25 minutes. When I put the noise reduction on, it took two hours. So it really is resource intensive. So just keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, this is not available in the free version, but there is a noise reduction tool in the Fusion page. It is just as easy to use. If you wanna learn more about that, make sure you check out this video right here. And for more videos on how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.